By now, most of you know somebody who died of lung cancer. They may have not smoked or been exposed to secondhand smoke. They may have not worked at a nuclear power plant or even worked in a factory that had uranium production like a Manhattan Project building. They could have died from radon gas. Radon gas exposure is the second leading cause of lung cancer in America today. Radon gas comes from the ground, the bedrock, and accumulates in your home. It can also come from building products such as high-rise building granite or even granite countertops. The only way to know if you have radon is you do a test. You can have a radon inspector come over with the continuous monitor and there are several types or you can do it yourself and a lot of the stores sell radon kits. When you find radon, you need to hire a contractor to install a mitigation system. Now, some home buyers who buy new homes already buy homes with these systems. You need to look at these systems to make sure they're properly installed. You want to make sure that the systems aren't homemade. You want to make sure that the systems don't leak. You want to make sure that the systems properly function and that the heights of the stacks are above the roof lines. You might even consider retesting the home again to make sure that the system is working. Radon will change throughout the season. Generally in the winter time when houses are closed up the radon levels tend to be higher. Homes that have negative pressure also tend to be higher. When you test for radon, you also need to close all the windows and all the doors to make sure that you have an accurate reading. There are protocols you need to follow when testing for radon. Most American homes have negative basement lower floor pressure due to HVAC cold air return duct leakage, supply duct leakage in crawl spaces and attics, house stack effects because light warm air rises, moist air effect because light moist air rises, exhaust fans, basement fan contraptions that suck air out of your home that waterproofers sell, Woo, that's warm. dryers, fireplaces that suck air out of homes, appliances that have power exhaust vents, and attic access panels that are not sealed permitting thermal bypass or the escape of conditioned indoor air. These conditions permit radon to be sucked out of the ground at cracks, holes, sumps, crawls, slabs, penetrations, and joints. You want a slightly positive lower level pressure minimizing the sucking of radon gas. Check your lower levels with a pressure gauge, smoke, or even toilet paper to see if negative pressure or depressurization exists. You may need to seal cold air returns, seal sub pumps, keep house fans off when not in use, seal attic access panels, seal ductwork in attics and crawls, keep interior doors open, run a basement dehumidifier, condition crawl spaces properly with proper 100% floor vapor barriers, install chimney balloons and chimneys that are not being used, and finally open lower level HVAC supply register grills to blow furnace conditioned air to slightly pressurize your lower levels. If your basement blows, it cannot suck radon. You can test this yourself or have your home tested in countertops granite by a certified licensed home inspector. If you have radon, you need to call a mitigation reduction removal expert to test, evaluate, and repair, or install a sub below slab depressurization system, mitigation system, or a reduction radon system. Please visit my website for more information. Please rate, subscribe, and share this video so more people can be aware.